ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿಭಚ ಪತಿಂಗ್ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಗ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತು ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವಯಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾಧಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ಸರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲ್ಭವಾಭೂತ ಬಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚಾರುಣ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನಖ ಚಂದ ಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿ ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋ ಗೋಪವಧು ಸ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌಡಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದಿಯವರು ಜಿಗಧಾರಮ ಪಾಲೌ ಜಂ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಥ ಭಾಗೀ ಸಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀರ್ ತ್ವಂ ಸಿಂಗ ಮಹಮ್ಮದಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ
प्रथम नाम सवनमतकुद्यापेक्षा शुद्धे चातकूपसवन तदयोग्यता सम्मुदीते चूपे गुणा स्मरण संपदेत संपन्ने गुणा स्मरण परिकर वैशिष्टन तदिष्ट संपद्यते ततास्तेषु नाम गुण परिकु सम्मुरीतेषु लीला स्फुण सुष्टुवतीत साधन क्रम लिखित प्रथम नाम सवनमतकुद्धिपेक्षा शुद्धे चातकूपसवन तदुदयोग्यता सम्मुदीते चूपे गुणा स्फुण संपदीत संपन्ने गुणा स्फुण परिकर वैशिष्टन तदिष्ठा संपद्यते ततस्तेषु नाम गुण परिकु सम्मुरीतेषु लीलाफुण सुष्टुवतीत साधन क्रम विलिखिता गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस चक्रु टोल्ड दैट ह्यूमन बींग अप टिल दैट पॉइंट ही इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग आउट ऑफ दैट तर्कपंथा ही इज टेकिंग दैट तर्कपंथा up till that point his that he can't get the guru darshan up till that point gaudiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramhans jagat guru told that the human civilization up till that point he has that arguing mood and he just want that logical interpretation inside his mind up till that point guru darshan or bhagavad darshan not at all possible When Guru Darshan is not there, Bhagavad Darshan is not at all possible. Guru Pad Padm Vani, that uh, topmost uh, Siddhant Vichar the, about that absolute truth, what is coming from the lotus mouth of Guru Pad Padm, that actual Satya Katha, that Pravachan is coming from his lotus mouth. This is actually for the benefit of this whole material world. If it is not, if if the lo. Vani from the lotus mouth of the Guru Padmanabha. That absolute shabd. If I am just getting away from that, I am go getting into the wrong direction. Then, at that point, my inside my heart, that absolute shabd Brahm will not get uh, imbibed inside my heart. When I am getting away from that absolute truth, I am just getting deviated from that. then i cannot get uh, manifested in that absolute truth at all this is the actual uh, absolute thing that in order to just test his uh, uh, in order to test his uh, uh, ability to do bhajan what is our actual capacity bhagwan actually wants to test us that how i can use each and everything for krishna seva or guru seva that's why in this uh, material world all kind of arrangements are there and facilities are getting arranged everything mind material mind in very fine form it is arranged in front of us this is actually uh, of that absolute truth this is just that uh, this is just uh, testing in the way of that absolute truth bhagwan is just getting uh, arranged everything in this manner The, so all kind of uh, uh, questions and answers and logical interpretation coming inside our mind those who are actually going on that logical interpretation and they just want to go into the pathway of that argument they la- definitely they will just disrespect guru pad padma those who are actually going on the way of that logical interpretation on their own then definitely these people they will definitely disrespect guru dev automatically only and only guru pad padma is in that uh, whatever our life uh, what in our life whatever question and answers and whatever argument is coming inside our mind ev- 
every uh, solution is there with guru pad bandh only guru pad bandh can only give us the actual solution of those all those arguments and question and answers coming inside our heart he has that power to do for logical interpretation there is no uh, no solution with argument 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 will increase in shrot panth in amnay path in amne in the pathway of shrot panth that in that we should the pathway that actual truth is there that truth which is uh, coming in front of us in the front of that amnay path in the uh, pathway of shrot panth that kind of shuddh vichar which is coming in front of us that topmost absolute truth which is coming in front of us that is not at all uh, transformed that is not at all transformed in shrot panth in that amnay panth that or that we should with and the, in the pathway of that shuddh vichar that param satya was that absolute truth coming in front of me that is not coming in with addition and alteration that we cannot transform that why because that is called absolute absolute truth that is the absolute object in front of us it means that it cannot be ad- altered and addition is not possible in that when those and addition and alteration nothing can be done in front of him uh, that eternal truth is there that uh, that is called absolute truth that is not at all transformed that absolute truth that is the actual guru pad padma is the entity of that absolute truth that is called guru pad padma and those who are guru drohi those who are who are against uh, guru dev and who are enemies of guru for them those who are enemies of guru dev that is actually they have a heart full of argument this kind of argumentative heart they definitely will disrespect the shastras and guru dev as well those who are disrespecting guru dev that they have that arguing mood inside their heart that arguing point is there all the time inside their heart and that logical interpretation of their own mind is just getting inside their heart definitely shastra uh, disrespect of shastra and gurudev will definitely will there it is not that it will go away he will not at all go go above, uh, ahead in his bhajan like madhavendra puri pad ji he is a disciple of madhavendra puri pad is uh, the disciple of madhavendra puri pad ji is uh, he is actually want to give uh, learning to his gurudev madhavendra puri pad disciple he one disciple is there ramchandra ramchandra puri madhavendra puri pad is disciple is there is ramchandra puri he wants to give some instructions to his gurudev that he actually just got diksha from his gurudev and uh, and he is thinking that he has taken diksha but uh, he actually in actual he is actually he haven't taken the darshan of gurudev he haven't seen his actual gurudev if he has seen his gurudev then definitely he will not be giving any kind of instruction to gurudev why he is giving instruction to gurudev so ramchandra puri when he was there if you are actually thinking in uh, actual that ramchandra puri madhavendra puri is not getting attracted with uh, ramchandra puri diksha is a very far distant thing and with ishwar puri madhavendra puri pad whatever that in depth prem that is relationship that sambandh gyan is there that madhavendra puri pad has was very happy with this ishwar puri and has given all his power uh, getting uh, imbibed and manifested inside the heart of ishwar puri and has just given him the whole blessing so this madhavendra puri pad actually that by the kripa of madhavendra puri pad ishwar puri pad inside his heart that flood of uh, prema just getting imbibed and because of this that kanishth guru nishth that ishwar puri pad ishwar puri pad ka that ishwar puri pad just want to take the he has just taken uh, mahaprabhu has just taken uh, uh, the shelter of the lotus feet of ishwar puri because mahaprabhu is actually is the absolute truth of the whole infinity brahmand but still bhagwan swayam himself he has just taken the shelter at the lotus feet of ishwar puri pad and just has given us a manifested leela in front of us how to get uh, uh, shelter at lotus feet of gurudev mahaprabhu has just shown us practically that when he just went to gaya dham 
that this body i am getting uh, i have just given onto lotus feet of your uh, of of at your lotus feet gurudev you just uh, take me out of this material world i just want to sp- speak that whatever we were talking before in of updesh amrit that what we were talking about updesh amrit this uh, actually we have already talked about this because if we will think more about this that will be more good that this is the actual procedure of bhajan what is the topmost place for bhajan whether which is the topmost place of for bhajan so whatever is there shila bhakti sidan saraswati goswami thakur propad has also told before leaving his body before leaving his body means that be 4 years before when he used to be 4 to 4 and a half years before he has done at the time of braj mandal parikrama i have already just spoken this point before that shila prabhupa ji at the bank of radha kund he was just uh, speaking about the upadesh amrit of shila rup goswami pad and explained that in radha kund and uh, while discussing this uh, uh, rup goswami pad upadesh amrit that prabhupada actually is taking the anugate of shila rup goswami pad lotus feet and there are lot of things which uh, prabhupada has just spoken at that time that uh, that kind of things we which we haven't uh, learned before then definitely i have this kind of desire to discuss those things as well but the point is now that is that prabhupada speaking prabhupada actually speaking now that those those people prabhupada actually speaking this thing that those people those people who are actually speaking that uh, i have that independence with me i actually am is independent if someone is speaking prabhupada speaking that if someone is speaking that i am independent i also have that independent bhav inside me that i have my own desire prabhupada speaking that uh, this kind of desire what is having that i am independent in this life if you have no relationship with that where 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 wherever he will go like ramchandra puri like ramchandra puri madhvendra puri pad has just uh, uh, just uh, tell him oh you go away you go away from my side i if i will uh, see your face everything will destroyed you just go get lost from here so when gurudev has just uh, told him to just get lost from here then after that he has become a topmost mayavadi he was mayavadi before also because without some mission we can we don't have this kind of audacity to give updesh to gurudev but still he has done that but after that he just got into fallen condition even shri chaitanya mahaprabhu also he is parat parakileshwar bhagwan he is uh, the uh, bhagwan for infinity brahmand who has just come into this material world to just uh, uh, give us all instructions he also finding that uh, kind of faults in chaitanya mahaprabhu also he is finding faults in chaitanya mahaprabhu such a big uh, so fallen condition he has now you see so prabhu is speaking those people who are speaking that uh, we have that uh, independent uh, bhav inside our heart and they are feeling that we have we can do our whatever a desire is there i don't have any relationship with them i don't have any kind of relationship with them prabhu is speaking so i don't have any kind of relationship with them at all if these people are going on to the pathway of amangal and they are thinking that that is mangal for them then what is my capacity what is my actually sad this that i will be just giving getting them onto the pathway of mangal okay if they want to go let them go prabhupada speaking that i will not be uh, getting uh, in front of any kind of independent pathway i will not i will not be able, uh, be able to put a barrier in front of anyone's liberty independence 
in Swedish, in Swedish or Upanishad also, this kind one uh, about Vaishnav, there is it is done. Maybe this kind of vichar they haven't heard. Maybe these people haven't heard about this kind of vichar. Haven't heard that this kind of vichar. If they have heard this kind of vichar, then how can it be possible? The Upanishad, whatever it is written, like what you have getting bhakti onto lotus feet of Gurudev, like at the lotus feet of uh, Bhagavad Charan, you have bhakti and if you are speaking it truly uh, that uh, if you have that uh, bhakti onto lotus feet of bhakti you have more bhakti onto lotus feet of gurudev that is more practical that is more good okay if you have uh, those bhakti you have on bhagwan if you getting onto lotus feet of gurudev then this kind of bhakt in front of those devotees the, in front of these kind of devotees only, all the actual in-depth uh, analysis of the Shastra will just get manifested in front of him. In front of him only the actual in-depth uh, uh, discussion of the Shastra will get manifested inside his heart. Prabhupada speaking, that unconditional surrender Without any desire, there is no condition in front of Gurudev. Everything given. Aprativatha should be there. That which is impossible to stop. Ahaituke without any condition, without any desire, without any reason. No reason is there. That Ahaituke Kripa. This which is cannot be stopped. That uh, with Gurudev, topmost uh, non stop it is going. Onto the lotus feet of Guru, unconditional surrender should be made. Onto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma. It means that slightest deviation. He will just get destroyed, get lost from the actual bhakti path. Bhakti path. Everyone has that independent desire. You see, everyone has that independent desire. Even the uh, mosquito also have that kind of independent desire. Even the horse also, dumb bass also. Everyone has that uh, independent bhav. All this uh, bhag, pandas, bhalu, everyone, bears. Every jiva has their independent bhav. And each and every human being also has that kind of independence bhav. Definitely it will be there inside them. In any condition, you cannot remove that independent desire from him. So, this kind of vichar, that independent bhav will be there inside everyone, everyone's heart. Every jeev has that free will with him. That is definitely there. Prabhupada actually speaking, that jivan mukta, though jivan mukta. Jivan Mukta means that uh, just while living their life, while they have this body, they are getting Mukta, they are getting delivered from this uh, uh, material body. This is called Jivan Mukta. So, this is what Jivan Mukta means. Bhuvachan is there. Jivan Mukta. Jivan Mukta, if he has become Jivan Mukta. If he is actually become a sadhu or something, then definitely they will also uh, can get into this material bondage again. He just needs to be very cautious and just be going on to that pathway of bhakti because Prabhupada has spoken a lot of things. So in this no kind of false ego should be there. I have ju- I will just see Maya. Okay, okay. I will just be leaving Maya. This kind of false ego should not be there at all. This is not at all possible. Maya re Koriya Joy Shadanu Na Jai Shadu Guru Kipa Bin 
माया यू कैन नॉट लीव ऑन योर ओन भगवान ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट that at your lotus feet i am getting that actual sharanagati so prabhupad speaking yeah, about the shastra according to the shastra prabhupad is just giving us that vichar this shloka in front of us has just given this kind of uh, actual vichar in front of us what is that if that achintya mahashakto that bhagwati it means that even even those who are person getting jeevan mukt already they can also get according to their karma bandhan can definitely uh, fall again into this uh, material maya if if he has got uh, onto the lotus feet of vaishnav charan and bhagwat charan lotus feet of bhagwat charan is getting aprad then he definitely will fall down in chaitanya bhagwat also it is written shulopani means even shankar bhagwan also like topmost vishnav like a topmost vishnav like shankar also if he is doing us one kind of aparad on to lotus feet of uh, guru vishnav then definitely he also has to face the results of that aparad definitely there is no uh, solution for that just uh, when you are becoming vishnar after that Uh, slowly steadily in in future this kind of material uh, desire can definitely can get manifest inside our heart again prabhupad speaking that independent uh, jiva independent jiva all the time inside their heart what kind of uh, independent uh, jiva always have that how that kind of material kama is there actually just uh, taking him away from bhakti from where that unknown kama is coming inside his heart which is just uh, making him run run in the maya direction oh run 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 like that and uh, like this uh, uh, by the kripa of guru vishnav and by bhagavat kripa he just need to just uh, divert that with that anukul bhav and uh, just getting into that bhagavat's bhav with is getting into the direction of bhakti again that achinta mahashakti दैट भगवान अचिंत महाशक्ति दैट ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान डेफिनेटली ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान एंड लोन टू द फीट ऑफ नाम ऑन टू द डिवोटिज ऑन लोटस फीट ऑफ डिवोटिज बिकॉज ऑफ द अपराध ऑफ दैट वॉट कैन बी डन दैन दोज हु जीवन मुक्त दैट एट द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ जीवन मुक्त ऑल्सो एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो ही कैन गेट फॉल एंड डाउन फ्रॉम दैट कंडीशन एंड ही कैन गेट दैट मटीरियल बाउंडेज अगेन इन साइड इज हार्ट if he is doing aparad so this is the actual this is the actual uh, actually this is the actual uh, trap of maya devi the, this is every in all the four direction this uh, maya devi material world is there this prakriti we are finding that uh, a uh, lot of happiness this is material happiness we are finding what maya devi has just given us uh, arrangement of this new market in front of us that in chandipat also we are speaking anandmay me i am just laughing anandmay is there definitely she is giving all happiness but if you are actually just uh, having that swarup vichar then antaranga shakti is that yog maya that's why she is anandmay but externally those people external material people that kind of anand is material happiness very dangerous happiness those who are actually at the doing uh, at today is actually kali puja those who are doing uh, durga puja or kali puja they are actually sometimes they are just giving money but maharaj actually you take some money actually i don't have anything what i can give this is actually so they actually these people from all the four directions all time all the time what kind of um, uh, thing should be there for the arrangement of devi puja but if actually they can understand if they can actually understand that devi has that inside his heart that kind of uh, uh, that she is just taking that uh, atrishul in in her hand she actually wants to kill a demon like you only 
if they can understand then definitely they will not do that but everyone is actually doing kali puja durga puja but they actually don't know the actual point of kali puja so this kind of uh, this prakriti may be very un- very strange this kind of surprising maya maya subject is there this uh, arrangement of this material sansar is uh, just done with lot of happiness we can just find here which is material and temporary and all the human civilization especially this degradation why it is going on proper speaking why human civilization is getting so much degradation it should not be like that but still it is going on why because proper speaking this that their bondage what is the actual reason that what their interest what there is no interest for that definitely they are actually asking for that and thus for their own desire which is not at all they are actually they are asking that it means that the answer is that that uh, that according to, that to misuse our own independent bhav to just use the misuse of our independence definitely they will get into fallen condition every person actually speaking that i have taken diksha and i have got the divya gyan also okay you have got divya gyan from the, from uh, now when where that divya gyan is gone where that divya gyan is gone now what happened now to you what happened to that now where is your divya gyan now so divya gyan to get that it is not at all easy that is not at all cheap that i will get that divya gyan that uh, i know that what is divya gyan it is okay you know that but if you know divya gyan then why you are actually going on to the negative direction that i have just given in one pratibha word to some international society against them that those who don't have even common sense also what kind of divya gyan they can have foolish they don't have any common sense from where they can get divya gyan i have already just given them the answer okay what they don't have the answer of this question what they can you don't have any common sense you foolish how you can get uh, divya gyan in your life you don't have kind of gyan no common sense is there so bhagwan bhagwan and in in bhagwan and guru just having that uh, topmost permanent shraddha there is uh, no no other things required at, at all no other things are required no brinito javak ittadi prahlad maharaj ji actually speaking this shlok or bhagwan also written in gita also has spoken in gita it means that just after getting jivan mukt also that that whenever you are doing everything just by getting the vaishna vesh and also sanyas three done everything he can become sajiya just having that face of vaishnav everything he has got but still he can become sahajya and he'll get get into that fallen condition again if he is doing aparad this is actually or when you are doing aparad on to lotus feet of gurudev or bhagwat charan definitely it will happen like that you will get fallen vaishnav siddhant the actual fundamental point of vaishnav siddhant the actual fundamental siddhant of vaishnav siddhant actual fundamental point if we can understand that if we can if we can understand that point then uh, all the things the all the things we can just get rectified and we can find the solution of that and the vaishnav jagat the actual mool siddhant the actual thing of this vaishnav jagat just by understanding that everything will just get rectified that is naturally possible automatically those in the jivan mukt state also they can get that point but why because jeev is actually anu it is he is independent he is actually tatastha shakti of bhagwan he is just get manifested from tatastha shakti so what i can speak more even shankar bhagwan also who is topmost vaishnav also that topmost vaishnav and jay vijay etc they are actually bhagwat parshad they are also getting uh, getting showing us the fallen condition leela in front of us they have just shown us that leela in front of us of fallen down fall down and how we can get into that fallen condition again jay vijay we have already seen that chota haridas choto haridas 
what kind of adarsha has shown in front of us that mahaprabhu has just accepted chota haridas ji the adarsha which he has shown that about yashit sang mahaprabhu has just has just uh, uh, told us not to take that mahaprabhu has just uh, uh, shown us that in front that leela in front of us so whatever is there this which are it you are trying to speak that that those tannam rup charitadi jo shloka hai that shloka is there that ajatruti sadak those who have lot of sadhana for krishna if they have other desires inside their heart and an anya vilas is there inside their heart of this material world then what they have to do they have to do the anugatya of guru vishnuv they have to just have ruchi in other object and some anya vilas is there towards other object the advice is there for them that they just in order to just control their heart and mind slowly gradually by gradual proportional procedure by hari katha kirtan smaran they just need to uh, get into that and after that jato ruchi will definitely come inside them today is uh, they are having a jato ruchi but slowly slowly mentally they will just be getting uh, there in brajwasi and under the guidance of brajwasi they will be just uh, uh, make their life uh, uh, stable and happy that is the topmost thing the in the life of that sadhak i have already told that shraman dasha is there first then uh, about the naam gun reep roop leela at and parikar at factory we are just getting our heart uh, uh getting having happiness while just uh, hearing about the topics of krishna i have already just given you about the shloka of roop goswami pad ंग बाय जस्ट रिमेम्बरिंग हरी नाम एंड जस्ट बाय टेकिंग हरी नाम slowly steadily slowly steadily what will happen our inside our heart will just get purified this kind of actually bhakti no thakur has written that while uh, naam shravan is very important that's why vaishnav lok vaishnav lok all the time slowly steadily doing kirtan they are going on the path on the roads at prabhat ferry they are doing kirtan just by doing some kirtan on the road so that material bonded jeevas if that hari naam shuddh naam just get in so their ears then definitely they will purify themselves so that's why prabhat ferry naam sankirtan all actually this kind of rules are there so maybe first actually slowly steadily by getting shravaning shravan of naam he is getting his heart purified in that his heart and material mind is getting purified by just hearing hari naam and after that when his heart and material mind is getting purified after that he is getting uh, that roop naam of bhagwan naam naam roop naam gun naam leela naam parikar naam vaishishth naam all these are actually name hari naam so all this naam when our heart is getting purified at that time that roop parikar eternal partial paraphernalia roop naam we will be just getting the qualification of getting that to get roop naam we will get that standard and when the, we are getting that uh, qualification of getting the roop naam then we will be when we will be an actual 
with the topmost that in full form it is just getting manifested inside our heart then definitely his characteristics and qualities of bhagwan will get inside our heart that gun naam this gun naam actually qualities of bhagwan that bhakti will just get sprouted inside our heart and when when according to the bhagwan leela etc whatever there is getting manifested inside our heart that is naturally there then after that what will happen that after that the all those parikar eternal parshad what kind of specialties there uh, definitely it will get uh, uh, manifested inside his heart slowly steadily and after that that bhagwan's naam bhagwan roop gun parikar paraphernalia leela all the things will just get uh, manifested slowly steadily inside our heart then automatically that uh, leela smaran after that then automatically bhagwan's leela naam roop gun leela parikar vishisht slowly steadily when they will get manifest inside their heart slowly steadily then definitely bhagwan leela will definitely get manifested inside our heart it will just get manifested inside our heart automatically the leela of bhagwan leela smaran is automatically possible in com- in complete form it will just get manifested inside our heart that is the actual procedure of sadhan but if someone actually this kind of procedure of sadhan he is actually just want to make some new uh, instruction and new pathway that will become a path for him and that's why prabhupada actually speaking that uh, that those who are doing naam aparad dham aparad on to lotus feet of bhagwan aparad and they are actually just making still they are jeevan mukt still they will just uh, that material bondage will come and get manifest inside their heart again they are just in the apron of vaishnav and with the wish of vaishnav they are just becoming prakrit sahajya if they are actually and bhagavad naam dham parikar guru vaishnav they are just doing aparad then what to speak everything will get destroyed there is no uh, there is no question about that no doubt about this so that's why you just need to get protected you just need to be cautious that what jeev goswami is pad is speaking that if some actually some sahaj is speaking that oh not required at all no not at all required you you actually just get leela smaran you are actually this gopi and you are this manjari you just go on remembering this then you see nowadays actually by 5000 rupees you are getting that gopi bhav <laughs> that swarup of gopi so cheap is gopi bhav you see so see actually the bhajan is so cheap now so cheap now very cheap <laughs> the bhajan line is now so prabhupad the vichar of prabhupad is like this under the guidance of prabhupad that shlok we will be just understanding maybe afterwards now actually the vichar is coming that that this pantha the procedure that in the life of that sadhak that adho shravan dasha that that about the naam will just get manifested after the naam get manifested roop gun leela or roop gun and paraphernalia are getting manifested in there when the roop is getting that swarup of bhagwan is getting manifested completely inside our heart then on the qualities and characteristics of krishna will get inside our heart and all every parikar eternal parshad and par- leela will get manifest so in the life of the sadhak that adosh shravan dasha after that at that point that naam roop gun krishna leela slowly steadily just by hearing we are just getting that desire to hear more and more krishna leela this kind of desire is getting inside our heart to hear more and more this krishna leela we just by hearing slowly steadily slowly steadily we are actually just getting krishna inside our heart we are just having that desire to get krishna that is called param in varan dasha and when then varan dasha is perfect then at that time what will happen that whatever we have heard 
accord from the lotus mouth of the kushud guru vaishnav whatever we have heard about krishna so that shruta vishay whatever we have heard that just by doing we just have the desire to do kirtan if it is the kirtan is done that is very good that whatever we have heard from guru vaishnav that kind of desire we are feeling to do kirtan automatically that devotee is just doing kirtan automatically of that what he has heard from glorification of from the mouth of guru vaishnav and with his own bhav that according to his own bhav by by doing sankirtan slowly steadily he will get that smaran dasha remembrance dasha and when that he will get that remembrance his concent- con- concentration becomes so in depth which is naturally there and with full bhav inside his heart that kind of the, that kind of uh, uh, bhagavad darshan he is getting all the time inside his heart so this kind of actually darshan of bhagwan is coming slowly steadily inside his heart so this is kind of actually natural and automatic and dhyan anusmriti smadhi samadhi these kind of five types of at the lotus feet of concentration how to concentrate on bhagwan these are the five kind of stages that is first preliminary stage is the smaran that vikshep mitra there is some kind of unwanted element in there and a vikshep when there is no unwanted element inside that smaran then that kind of stage in smaran that is called and this dharana when is becoming more more uh, solid inside our heart permanent that object which is always remembering the lotus feet of bhagwan if it will become topmost permanent and solid then definitely from this dharana dasha that you will he will be just getting his concentration level that is called dhyan from dharana he will just transform to dhyan and he don't have any time all the time he is getting remembering remembrance of bhagwan that is called anusmriti he is not at all thinking of any other object apart from bhagwan and after anusmriti what is happened that uninterrupted without any gapping that kind of all the time inside our heart that we are actually having the lotus feet of bhagwan all the time he is not at all uh, remembering anything else apart from the lotus feet of bhagwan that kind of concentration is called samadhi so this smaran dasha what i am speaking this uh, stage of uh, smaran dasha after that after there is apan dasha after smaran dasha there is apan dasha in this uh, condition the sadak he is actually getting the swarup that he just get the identification of his swarup slowly steadily that is my swarup is actually i am nitya das of krishna i don't have any duty apart from that i don't have any kind of karma only one duty to serve krishna so after smaran dasha there is apan dasha it means that just to, to get bhagwan inside our heart this kind of desire just uh, how bhagwan will sit inside our heart so in this condition the sadak has just uh, got the actual swarup natural swarup his secret swarup that is nitya das of krishna and uh, sapan sampan dasha is getting uh, when he is just leaving his body which kind of bhav he has done the bhajan according to that bhav he is getting the uh, natural uh, nitya seva in his uh, in golok dham so this is called this sampatti that sampatti dasha he is getting that vastu siddhi in the in the sampatti dasha he is getting that vastu siddhi after leaving body vastu siddhi means what kind of bhav he has just uh, done so much of bhajan up till this point this kind of bhav will just get complete so in this way so our all those vedic vedi bhakt vedi devotees there which are actually already written chaitanya charitamrit that's why according in bhagavad gita mahapurana also it is written that whatever the kind of material lust and desire in there inside your heart if that material dust, lust and desire are not at all there then in a very silent mood also you will be doing krishna bhajan only and not at all other bhajan you will be doing that is the actual point permanent topmost point so in this way those all those vedi devotees if he is actually vedu devotee he is actually going on to the vidhi mark and inside his heart is some kind of kama is there it is not like that he is actually a vedu devotee that those vidhi devotees vidhi mark devotees they definitely will be having material lust and desire no not at all possible somebody has some or maybe it is not there 
it depends upon his sanskar but those very devotees at the in the pathway of vedi bhakti slowly steadily he will definitely get that uttama bhakti he will get that that is the actual rules but uh, his the characteristic of this kind of devotee is different the actual vichar of the shastras is that that those who are actually accepting vedi bhakti he is getting into raganuga bhajan slowly steadily this kind of vichar is that that those who are just accepting vedi bhakti and you are just going slowly steadily in the bhajan and after that you will be and after that you will be getting uh, manifested in rag bhajan but there is one point permanently that in vedi bhakti what you are actually following and you are going to rag bhakti definitely when he just why he is getting uh, back it is just because of uttama bhakti raganuga bhakti when the raganuga bhakti is getting started that is also called uttama bhakti but but before that that previous stage that is also called uh, when uttama bhakti is not at all there rag bhakti is not at all uh, possible to get so there is some difference in between that the, there is difference between the characteristics there there at there actually uttama bhakti is called that is uh, the meaning of that of uttama bhakti it is gen, gen, general meaning that what rup goswami has told only this kind of characteristic is getting changed what is that that anukelena krishna lushilanam that this godias devotees those who are already there in rupanuga bhajan those who have gone into the rupanuga bhajan and those who are already nitya siddh who have just all those who are nitya siddh already they will be doing rupanuga bhajan and they are actually showing that sadhan siddh those who are showing that they are sadhan siddh for them i am speaking that uh, this uh, raganuga bhajan before starting that he is actually going to start raganuga bhajan definitely there will be uttama bhakti there inside his heart and before that one step before you are going then definitely there is uttama bhakti there but only there is difference in the characteristic what is that that in the vidhi mark what is there he is getting uh, this shlok every everything is good but one point is uh, main that anukulena krishna lushilam that what is anukulya for krishna bhakti for raganuga devotees what is uh, anukul for raganuga devotee what is actually anu uh, something else is anukulya for him that under the guidance of subrajwasi is doing his characteristic is different and he is becoming more and more special when he is having that he is getting a rupanuga bhakti then he is that radharani's name will definitely come his radharani's name will definitely come so this is actually different and when uh he is getting onto the vidhi mark slowly steadily at the last point we are actually going just now i am just getting i am just getting entry into raganuga bhajan at that point when i am just going to raganuga bhajan definitely before that also uttama bhakti was there there is only one characteristic there is only one speciality there that that under the guidance of some brajavasi he is doing something and finally and finally that topmost conception that anu radu rana ni anukula he will be getting and uh, here actually in vidhi bhakti he is actually there in vidhi bhakti that what is actually good for uh, which is not against his bhajan and uh, he is actually he is very helpful for his bhajan he will this kind of bhav he will be taking so this is actually this uh, this is the actual uh, condition of the sadhak what i have told you now that uh, uttama bhakti definitely should be there whether he is in the vidhi mark or whether he is just taking the help of vidhi mark and going ahead or whether he is doing getting manifested in uh, uh, raganuga bhajan but it is general that uttama bhakti should be there in general without uttama bhakti krishna bhajan is not at all possible you can't speak about krishna bhakta bhajan without uttama bhakti uttama bhakti should be there before that it is not at all possible to do krishna bhajan so here actually it is written that in our gaudiya vichar it is written that that where these devote where the devotees and if you go ahead you can see that rai ramanand ji uh, with rai ramanand ji with rai rai mahashay mahaprabhu actually is just speaking uh, uh, with rai mahashay and sanatan goswami pas 
Mahaprabhu actually is discussing means that Sanatan Siksha after that uh, Rupa Siksha that uh, Rupa Siksha is there Gurudev always used to speak that those who are in entering in this bhajan life those who are entering in this bhajan life and haven't taken uh, haven't understood the Sanatan Siksha and in their bhajan life they haven't understand Rupa Siksha those who in their bhajan life haven't understand Rai Ramanan Samvad haven't understand that then they are not at all Gaudiya Bhakt they are not at all Gaudiya devotees they are not at all Gaudiya devotees they can't be it is not possible because it is a fundamental thing so all these kind of things just by slowly slowly discussing it Mahaprabhu has just uh, told us all secret uh, points of bhajan all secret hidden treasure of bhajan Mahaprabhu has just uh, uh, revealed to us so this kind of Rai, Ram, Rai Ramanan Sambhad, Sanatan Goswami Siksha, Rup Goswami Pad Siksha, all in these three, Mahaprabhu, Shri Krishna Jitane Mahaprabhu has just uh, revealed all the kind of uh, bhajan in front of us, all the secret things, whosoever had this kind of capacity under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, they can just get that, otherwise you just get lost. That is actually in Vindavan it is written, that right, this is Radharani Bhandar is open, if you want to get it, you can get, otherwise you get lost. Wherever you want to go, go to hell. So all these uh, Vedi Bhakta devotees in Rai Ramanan Samman also it is written. It is written there. In Chaitanya Chirtamrit in Madhya Khand it is written. In Chaitanya Chirtamrit in Madhya Khand 22nd Adhyay 136th Shlok. There it is written that that Vedi Bhakt, Vedi devotees definitely can have calm, but maybe it can don't have calm, or maybe some calm will be there. That's why I've already told the previous log. If some karma is there inside his heart, but still, uh, uh, that the uh, that slowly steadily just by hearing the Ram Ram Rup Gun Leela of Krishna slowly steadily, he will just get mad. Sweet madness, a prakrit madness will come. If no aparad is there, definitely he will get madness. This kind of uh, actual power is there in Krishna Nam. So, Vaid Bhakta definitely, if he has some calm, then definitely he will be throwing that kind of material calm outside his heart and he will be just taking the Krishna Bhajan and adopting Krishna Bhajan slowly, steadily by following the rules and regulation of Shastra. He is just doing, he is doing Krishna Bhajan and automatically calm is getting destroyed. And Vaidhi devote, Vaidhi devotees slowly, steadily before, if they have some karma inside their heart before, but slowly, steadily just by doing Krishna Bhajan according to the rules and regulation of Shastras. About what is to do and what not to do, written in the Shastra just by following that, and they are just keeping them inside that, and they are just maintaining them in their bhajan. Slowly, steadily, their material calm will get automatically rectified. It will automatically they will get out of that calm, material calm. And this is the actual first point. It means that in Vidhi Mark it is, but this Vidhi Mark. What will happen after that? This is actually preliminary, I have told. That Vedi devotees. They, okay. After that, what will happen? That slowly, steadily. When slowly, steadily he is getting ahead in his bhajan, when his ruchi is getting manifested, that nishta, after that he is just getting at the stage of ruchi. After Nishta, when he is getting to the stage of Ruchi, then everything is done, you see. After Ruchi, what will happen? He will automatically, he will be uh, leaving Vidhi Mark automatically. When Ruchi will get manifested inside our heart, Vidhi Mark will automatically, he will definitely gonna leave that. At that point, just by leaving Vidhi Mark, he will be getting uh, manifest in Rag Mark. Before that, what I have just told you, the shlok of Chaitanya Chiritamrit Madhya Khand, 22nd chapter, 136th. And now what I have told you, it is Chaitanya Chiritamrit Madhya Khand, 22 chapter, 138th shlok. Means that 136 to 138 shloka, the different kind of things have already told. I have just told you about that. That when the Ruchi is getting inside your heart, that Krishna Nam is such a thing that after when you are getting Ruchi in Krishna Nam, that you are leaving Vedi 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 pathway and you are just taking Raganuga Bhajan. 
that vidhi dharm you have actually left what does it mean that you have left vidhi dharm automatically this is left you haven't left it it is automatically uh, left this kind of that i have left vidhi dharm this is called false ego it maharaj it's automatically left this is called you are getting manifested in raganugam so that ragatmik bhakti what is actually natural rag is there inside his heart nag is not that uh, angry mood that in odia ragya hoch that ragya hoch means that angry mood did not this kind of rag this rag is actually prem mai rag that the top most of attraction towards krishna that kind of rag not angry attitude that is not there <laughs> so ragatmika bhakti from where we can get actually ragatmika it is fully resolved with brijvasis ragatmika bhakti if it is actual tre- treasure of bhagavad gita how we can get that rup ko swami speaking that if that ragatmika bhakti but how we can get that that answer actually is given here that anugata it means that ragatmik those brajvasis are there definitely under their guidance under the anugatya of those brajvasis you have to do it means that under the anugatya of the brajvasis that bhakti you are getting that bhakti is called raganuga bhajan raganuga bhakti so that ragatmik bhakti those shuddh brajvasis it is there we are doing it under their guidance then it is called raganuga bhakti and if we are just getting uh, that capacity then my name my name will become raganuga bhakt devotee or raganuga devotee and uh, before the shloka i have already told ki in the samrit sindhu this there is one point is there in the here actually definitely we can just find out that uh, that this ragatmika ragatmika what is the definition of that we have already discussed this now now what is the point is that in the samrit sindhu it is already told in the samrit sindhu it is already told it means that in ishta vastu it means that in under at the lotus feet of krishna that ishta vastu that at, at the lotus feet of krishna sarasi ki bhav that not rasik bhav swarasi ki bhav swarasi ki swarasi ki iti raga that swarasi ki iti raga that raga nuga bhav from inside our heart that uh, natural flow of prema that attraction we are getting towards krishna what we cannot express in front of him we don't have any language to express that we don't have any language to express that that those in in the life of those people with those who are getting that they only know that practically this is not at all just by speaking it is not we cannot actually give you the understanding about this those who have got practically in their life definitely they can get that so this bhavet means vidhi vidhi ling superlative degree if that sarasi ki raag is actually getting inside his heart definitely he will get that there is one kind of induction that magic will definitely be there he cannot see anything all time all the four direction is seeing krishna that is not avishtatha avisht means if someone actually with some bhav actually is getting imbibed in that but it is not that imbibition it is just uh, this vedirling that is a comparative statement and he is just becoming full of anand that devotee is getting full of anand he is becoming krishna mai all the time everywhere he is seeing krishna at that time he is becoming tanmay and whatever he is doing bhakti of bhagwan that is called ragatmika bhakti ragatmika bhakti he that getting mai sprouted from that he is getting full anand he is becoming tanmay is getting full anand in that at the eternal blissfulness he is getting definitely that is called ragatmika bhakti to ragmay bhakti so now the question is coming now that ragmay bhakti name is raganuga bhakti that 
रागात्मिक रागानुगा भक्ति रागानुगा भक्ति इज कॉल्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम ब्रजवासी नो बडी नोस एंड इफ वी आर डूइंग अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ ब्रजवासी आई एम गेटिंग देन डेफिनेटली इट इज कॉल्ड रागानुगा भक्ति रागात्मिक भक्ति ओनली ब्रजवासी हैज एंड यू डोंट सी फॉर देम ओनली इट इज फॉर ब्रजवासी इट इज रिजर्व फॉर ब्रजवासी सो अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ देम इफ वी आर डूइंग दैट दे हैव रागात्मिक वर्ड देन वी विल बिकम रागानुगा एंड दिस रागात्मिक भक्ति वट इज देयर दैट वट ब्रजवासी हैव वॉट काइंड ऑफ नेचुरल प्रेम प्रीति फॉर कृष्णा दे हैव दैट टॉप मोस्ट अट्रैक्शन टू वर्ड्स कृष्णा दैट प्रेम आर टू वर्ड्स कृष्णा दैट लव फॉर कृष्णा एंड दैट सर्विंग एटीट्यूवर्ड्स दे हैव टू वर्ड्स कृष्णा इफ जस्ट बाई सींग दैट इफ सम वेरी टॉप मोस्ट जीवास दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस दे आर गेटिंग इन साइड देर हार्ड टू डू दैट सर्विंग ऑफ कृष्णा अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ द especially in the bangla katha of rasambi sindhu have discussed just by hearing that slowly steadily that kind of greediness is just getting inside our heart that we can't able to stop us we can't stop us getting definitely we need that only that attraction is getting inside our heart natural automatic attraction that like uh, some attractive thing or object we are seeing and definitely that greediness is getting inside our heart somebody is actually just uh, reading book and is not getting that attraction just by reading book he is anyone done that no not at all it is natural so this actually attractive vastu or battery object we are actually that girl is very beautiful i am getting that attraction definitely automatic attraction is there so this kind of greediness actually it is not like somebody is reading a book and is just getting attracted you see reading that how to get attracted to women it's not like that it is natural so whatever the pathway in order to get that uh, thing in his life he is actually uh, taking that pathway so it is all resolved by the brajwasis this ragatmika bhajan and slowly steadily just by seeing that under the guidance of brajwasis if i am getting that desire to do that i am very much successful and i am very much uh, lucky to do that and just by hearing that if someone heart is just getting melted and if some top most uh, purush actually that human is actually get material jiva is getting uh, getting uh, attracted towards krishna that definitely i need this one and this kind of greediness this kind of greediness he is just getting imbibed inside his heart he is just getting uh, manifested inside his heart he is just doing the anugatya of brajwasis and that serving attitude of brajwasi he is just taking that and implying in his life and he is doing the anugatya of them and he want to do the anugatya and after that he is not at all actually uh, hearing about the rules regulation of shastra automatically there is, he will not be uh, taking the rules and regulation of shastra because when there is actually that is called vidhi bhakti and raganuga bhakti is name is that i have already told that that raganuga bhakti is that according there there is no rules and regulations of uh, there is no restrictions of rules and regulations in raganuga bhajan shastra vidhi nahi mane they are actually not accepting rules and regulations written in the shastras that raganuga bhajan is like this they are not at all actually understanding rules and regulations of shastras that is the actual so, rules so what will happen that now if somebody have that greediness inside their heart after that getting that greediness that brajwasi he under the guidance of brajwasi that bhav he is seeing and he is getting attracted to this that particular bhav of brajwasi and that he just to do the shravan kirtan of him and under his guidance he just need to take his bhav and uh, having that serving attitude towards krishna and after getting greediness for, for krishna inside his heart he just need to get to his swarup seva that nitya seva he has to there is not the uh, fault in that i'm when that greediness is not at all permanent it is temporary and it is kapat then definitely he'll get punishment will very dangerous punishment will be there so after that whatever in the shastra yukti that's the chetana chap dhamrit shastra yukti ye jo hai this already now this shastra yukti cannot be you cannot defend that you it is outside that it is out of the range so at that time there is no work of shastra yukti and it is automatically working just like mad like uh, ganga 
Ganga Maya, Mata Ganga, from where it has come, and it is just going towards the ocean. There is no kind of barrier and bondage for that. All actually just breaking it off and going into the ocean straight away. So in this way, by just by doing, if this way our bhajan paddhati is going on and we are getting the kripa inside our heart, then definitely it is bhajan. There are two types of bhajan like this. Two types means that this is twofold. Bhajan, that same bhajan is just done uh, in two ways. For externally, by our body, material body, and inside in the fine form that Siddh Swarup, Nitya Siddh Swarup is there inside our heart. That under the guidance of some Brajavasi, we are getting uh, the, under their guidance internally, we are doing the seva. So externally and internally, both of kind of sadhan we have to perform. This is actually twofold, this kind of sadhan. Externally by this body, you are going all the things and inside your body, internally, that with inside your bhav, that kind of bhav is there all the time. You are doing uh, Bhagavad, Bhagavad Seva all the time. And in the same manner that the Brajavasi bhav is there inside our heart, that feeling is there for greediness, we are feeling that. So externally what will happen? Externally the sadhak will doing Nam Sankirtan all the time. He will be doing externally by his external body, he will be doing Shravan Kirtan. That sadhak will be externally performing Nam Sankirtan all the time. And inside his heart, that uh, kind of greediness is getting inside his heart. That is slowly, steadily when he is doing Harinam of Bhagwan, when inside his heart that he just get his actual Swarup inside his heart. That this is your actual Swarup, this is your Swarup. At that time when he got his identity of the Swarup inside that, all the time inside his heart he don't speak anything to anyone about your Swarup. And slowly, steadily doing bhajan, this kind of Siddha Dehe, that kind of Bhavna, that Bhavna actually what we are speaking here. So these Sahajiya people actually are thinking that uh, we can just think of any gopi. They, it is not like that. It is. The, it doesn't mean like this. How to do seva then? Prabhupada actually speaking already before that Krishna bhajan. Prabhupada already have spoken this point lot of times about this point. That Krishna bhajan is not a is not a mental exercise. Krishna bhajan is not a mental exercise. It is just not like gymnastic fix. It is just this is not a, an exercise of our heart. By our material mind and heart, it is just by exercising them. If Krishna bhajan can be done, then millions of sahajiyas can also become like that. It is not at all possible like that. So that's why, by that, that our material mind is there. There is any kind of bhavna we are just taking. According to that, we have to do that is strictly prohibited. So that's why. That the ex actual explanation I've already told that slowly, steadily by doing Nam Sankirtan, Prabhupada speaking, that that kind of greediness is getting inside our heart, and we are just the our identity. What is my actual name? How actually I'm looking? Which gopi I am, and which uh, village I am actually living, and uh, where is my uh, who is my Swami, and who is my mother, father, and which seva is mine, and what is my cloth? All kind of things will uh, we will definitely gonna. Uh, reveal in front of us when we are just doing under the guidance of actual Brajavasi. This is the actual identity of our Nijis Siddha Swarup. Those who are of those Siddha Babaji, Siddha Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj of Govardhan, they actually they have just uh, got uh, jumped into the Mansi Ganga water, and after that, uh, somebody has just taken Baba was actually inside the water, he's still alive there inside the water, and uh, Siddha Madhusudan Babaji Maharaj. Who is actually there? I always used to stay in Surya Kund by the Kripa of Krishna and by your Kripa, I used to stay there. At that spot, there also, this uh, in Surya Kund, Siddha Madhusudan Das Babaji Maharaj just jumped into the water of Surya Kund and fr from inside the water, he has just caught one stone and he just taken that stone and he just saw the stone that this is actually very surprising to see that stone that is very uh, amazing and surprising stone. And he just got everything, what is his sarup, and he got another uh, uh, stone from the water, inside the water. There actually just got the, uh, he just got the 
मुकुट ऑफ राधा रानी ऑल द टाइम एवरी डे राधा रानी ऑलवेज यूज टू टेक बाथ इन सूर्य कुंड एंड ऑल द टाइम यूज टू गो टू सूर्य कुंड जस्ट फॉर परफॉर्मिंग पूजा अर्चन देयर एंड वेयर शी यूज टू प्लेस हर मुकुट ऑन देयर स्टिल देयर इट इज देयर एट दैट स्पॉट एंड बाबा जी महाराज हेज जस्ट गॉड फ्रॉम इन साइड द वॉटर इन द रिटर्न फॉर्म इन रिटर्न फॉर्म ही गॉट वॉन समथिंग फ्रॉम द वॉटर दैट दिस इज योर एक्चुअल स्वरूप and you are this copy and you are this or oh, everything is uh, given in that so it is not uh, uh, possible for everyone this actually guru ji he can just be giving each and every swarup of each disciple and be taking money from them this is not at all swarup this paddhati is not at all good so so this actual uh, i have just given you a small discussion about this and it is already written there डे एंड नाइट ही हैज़ टू सर्व अकॉर्डिंग टू द मूड ऑफ द सेवा ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रजवासी ही विल बी सर्विंग डे एंड नाइट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ दैट ब्रजवासी हाउ ही इज एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग सेवा एंड वेदर ही इज डूइंग सेवा हाउ इज डूइंग दैट भाव आई जिस टू नीड टू टेक इन साइड माई हार्ट डे एंड नाइट आई हैव टू कंटिन्यूसली परफॉर्म कृष्ण सेवा विद दैट सेम भाव आई जस्ट बी डूइंग कृष्ण सेवा एंड स्लोली स्टेडली ही विल ऑल्सो गेट इन टू दैट प्योर प्योर फॉर्म pure condition definitely he will also get into that pure condition yesterday we were just uh, yesterday this uh, this kind of sadhak european chhatra hi tad bhav likshuna karya purjo lok anusar taha ye bangla katha this actually i've already talked about in bangla katha about this point but still in chaitanya charitamrit it is written महाप्रभु जी हैज टोल टू रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी दैट उपदेश विच हैज गिवन इन साइड दैट देर इज वेरी हिडन सिद्धांत इन साइड दैट महाप्रभु टोल्ड दैट रघुनाथ यू आर एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट स्वरूप गोस्वामी ही इज योर गुरुदेव एंड हु वॉट एवर नॉलेज ही हैज आई डोंट नो एनी थिंग बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्चुअली हेयर फ्रॉम समथिंग यू हैव सम श्रद्धा ऑन टू मी स्टिल आई विल स्पीक वन टू वर्ड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू I will just speak one to two words in front of you. What is the what is the words? What Mahaprabhu spoken in front of Raghunath Das Goswami? He spoke. He is Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu, what he is speaking? Mahaprabhu speaking. this actually told mahaprabhu so all the time inside your heart you just need to do seva ragunath das goswami pad actually speaking uh, mahaprabhu speaking to him about this point that don't speak about anything materialistic and don't see materialistic and don't take too much good food and all the time you just inside your heart just do radha gobind seva in your nitya swarup so nijo prishto here actually it is written nijo abhishth निजाभिष्ट वॉट इज दैट निजाभिष्ट वस्तु दिस निजाभिष्ट वस्तु दिस मी दिस दिस मधुमंगल इज देयर दैट विद मधुमंगल भाव वेरी आई एम एक्चुअली जस्ट गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स मधुमंगल भाव विद कृष्णा वॉट काइंड ऑफ लीला इज डूइंग एंड समटाइम्स इज एक्चुअली फीलिंग सम आई एम अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ रति मंजरी आई एम एक्चुअली फीलिंग अट्रैक्शन someone actually feeling some attraction towards kasturi manjari he just want to get uh, the anugatya of kasturi manjari in whatever group he is so what kind of bhav he is actually getting that bonded jiva in front of that bhav he will be putting up and slowly steadily he will definitely get into the siddha swarup nijabhist means na nij abhist that inside his heart what is there that only under the guidance of that particular bajwasi that under that krishna prasht jhan all the same permanently nitya you have to do the seva externally don't want to see anything outside this material world try to look inside your heart what is there inside your heart you just try to look that and after that kiya gaya and it is written smaran janancha sapristham nija samhitam tat tat katha ratasya asau 
What it's written here? That uh, this uh, Krishna, just by remembering Krishna, slowly, steadily, just by remembering Krishna, there is not even fraction of second. Your light time is not getting wasted. Just be be sure about this point. Rupanog Raganog Bhajan is not that all cheap. There should not be any gapping in that. All the time it should go on. So this uh, a continuous process without any gapping it should go on. This is not a normal thing. So this actually this shloka. That Krishna, that topmost, uh, each and every time he is just remembering Krishna. All the time you just need to remember Krishna. This kind of smaran, what is there? Just slowly, steadily, you just need to do smaran. You follow? Just slowly, steadily, when you are practicing that. This already there, this is called slowly, steadily. Slowly, steadily, you are doing just by going there. Slowly, steadily, just by doing this kind of word in there in Sanskrit. This Pashyan Shrinam. Grinam. Pashyan means that to see. Just by seeing, slowly, steadily seeing it. Grinam by just speaking. Pashan seeing, Grinam speaking, and Smiranam just by remembering. Smiranam just by remembering. Just by doing Shravan, slowly, steadily. This all, slowly, steadily, slowly, steadily you are going, doing that. Just by taking Krishna in front of you, just by remembering Krishna, all the Krishna Leela, slowly, steadily, you are remembering that. And whatever those prestigion of Krishna, that under their particular guidance, that I am feeling attraction towards that particular seva of that particular Bhajavasi, I am getting attracted towards that under his Anugatya, I have to do Krishna seva. That Krishna Shravan, Smaran, all I have to do under his guidance. And that kind of Leela, I am actually liking it. That related whatever Katha, Hari Katha is going on in relation to that. That time only. That Hari Katha, slowly steadily you just need to, in, just in that particular prasang you just get entrapped in that. All the time you just uh, uh, need to uh, see and just to hear and to just remember that kind of bhav inside your heart. Rato means that you should just get drowned into that. Just get to jump into that kind of particular Leela. Just uh, go towards that particular Katha. And like this, you just, this by body, speech and mind, everything you will just uh, getting uh, uh, attached to Vrindavan all the time. Like this, you just need to get uh, bridge vas like this mentally. All the time you just need to stay in Braj. Like this you just need to stay in Braj. That is the actual procedure. And if someone actually speaking actually how we can go to Vrindavan, okay, we can just go physically. If if it is not going to phys- not at all possible to go to Vrindavan physically, then mentally you just need to go to Vrindavan. Why actually you are just uh, getting your uh, uh, heart inside here and there. You just need to make your mind as stable towards Vrindavan. All the time in the Braj, that kind of uh, uh, thinking you should have. And lot of things are there like this, that how you will actually, all the devotees, that that they are acting attraction towards Dham. All this actually is going on. In Gunakhyan, that all kind of characteristics of Bhagwan that we are getting attracted towards that. And uh, the very topmost dham is there. All the time we have getting that attraction to live in that per- per dham. So whatever is there actually, the dasya, that before dasya there is shantaras. And uh, in our shastra there is actually an example given in our shastra. This kind of example is given that, that, that gomata, all those, uh, that trees, all they are having that shantaras inside them. They are actually Shantras Bhakt devotees. All those cows, trees. They are actually Shantras devotees. 
and those all those gomata all those cows it is written in the shastra they are actually all rishi munis they are all topmost pure guru vaishnav they are actually all they have come in the form of calves and cows in front of us and so shantaras is already done then inside shantaras practically we cannot find anything so that's why shantaras devotee if we can engage them then they can do then they can do seva otherwise it is not possible to them to do seva if someone actually they are just getting engaged them in some seva then they can do seva otherwise on their own they can cannot do seva sometimes they can do some seva like in vrindavan like this govind govind dev ji at the gomatila just got discovered from there at govind ji at that gomatila rup goswami pad actually one brajwasi telling to rup goswami pad baba baba they are actually this actually this kapila cow coming here and giving uh, some uh, milk drops onto this uh, tila or rup goswami pad actually finding what is the actual reason behind this so i have to find it out what is the actual reason behind it so then after that this kapila cow why actually he, she is actually giving uh, or give milk automatically nobody actually uh, taking out the milk automatically it is coming out of the uh, uh, breast of uh, cow so that way rup goswami pad has just discovered that place and after that he saw that radha govind ji that aprakrit govind vigrah is there ho oh, that's why actually this kapila cow is coming and all the time actually giving this milk there so those sant rush devotee usually they are not at all active they are not at all active you just need to make sure you are just making them into seva like you are you are giving the cow milk to krishna or flute uh, uh, himself it it will not do anything when the flute is actually aprakrit it is actually chinmay everything is chinmay it is not that flute is just an inert material person uh, material uh, object in vrindavan nothing is material at all even a small dust particle also not uh, is chinmay even that is the actual behavior of this is they are having their sant ras so they cannot give any response and if someone actually just giving them uh, making uh, in for seva in front of krishna that and someone is just actually taking the danda and just uh, putting it on uh, in uh, maintaining in krishna seva then only it can be used so this actually material there is not at all question of getting this uh, material objects in vrindavan everything is chinmay everything is transcendental in vrindavan there is no material object no place one material object is there so how that material objects can come in vrindavan so like this this shantaras the dasya sakya or etc all these actually are there inside us in all our devotees if they is actually capable then someone can be there but he cannot be like if he actually doing santras then this definitely he will not do why because santras actually this is inside this ras there this is actually inactive rasa externally you can see that there is actually no action of that or santras that's why santras definitely it is a ras definitely is not at all ras you cannot speak like that but still inside that ras rasa all our gaudias devotees will be running for this santras this is not at all possible like that maybe all the our gaudia devotees they are actually strong permanent gaudia devotee who is that sakya vatsalya they will not at all actually running for these bhav also if his gurudev is actually if his gurudev is actually his rupanuk raganuga is he is gurudev is then definitely he won't be running for these vatsalya and dasiras also so dasya sakya vatsalya madhurya etc all important important rasa these are all the actually all the doors of seva and in shantras all ka venu flute kadam tree cows this kadam tree also actually is so much chetan topmost chetan vastu that is kadam tree also when krishna is just uh, just getting a touch of just getting the touch of kadam tree then that kadam tree just get uh, become f- uh, lot of anand that is just getting stand up like full of anand like our hair fall is standing on our arms uh, in the same manner all the actually fruits of the tree is just getting uh, stand up like that so dasya sakya vatsalya madhur these are actually all for seva and shantras have already told that cow flute trees kadam tree etc all are there actually in shantras and in dasya in dasiras raktak patrak chitrak all can be there they are actually all uh, das of all 
भगवान एंड इन सब खेरा से बलदाऊ जी महाराज इज स्टिल इज एक्चुअली बिग ब्रदर बट बलदाऊ जी महाराज बलदेव जी महाराज ही इज एक्चुअली बिग ब्रदर ऑफ कृष्णा बट स्टिल ही इज एक्चुअली सर्विंग कृष्णा ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट प्लेइंग प्लेइंग विद कृष्णा एंड ऑल द टाइम एंजॉइंग विद कृष्णा दैट्स वाई सख्य सख्य भरस इज एक्चुअली प्रिडोमिनेटिंग फैक्टर इन बलदाऊ जी महाराज इन बलदाऊ जी महाराज दैट सख्य रस दैट इज एक्चुअली प्रिडोमिनेटिंग फैक्टर इन हिम बट कृष्ण एक्चुअली स्मॉल ब्रदर दैट्स वाई सम बात्सल्य इज ऑल्सो देयर बट ओके दैट इज वेरी लेस बट स्टिल बात्सल्य रस इज ऑल्सो देयर सो so this kind of vichar i have already told under the guidance of kripa of guru varga i have just uh, manifested in front of you and uh, previously uh, eight months before i have just told and uh, at the time of radha ashtami there is one article i have just uh, manifested some sahaja actually has just manifested this article that baldav ji maharaj ras in this actually it is written that how he has written he only knows how he has written this that where actually has his gurudev has just written like this. he actually written that baldav ji maharaj and krishna they are actually non different from each other okay that we already know that they are non different there is not a new thing in this but still there is one thing point is there baldav ji maharaj and krishna they are actually same but still they are not at all same why because baldav ji maharaj seva is different बलदाव जी महाराज एक्चुअली इज जस्ट लाइक कृष्णा इज वॉट एक्चुअली गोपिकाज ऑफ कृष्णा ही इज नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग रास विद दैम नॉट एट ऑल दे हैव अ सेपरेट ग्रुप बलदाव जी महाराज इज अ सेपरेट ग्रुप कृष्णा एक्चुअली एंड बलदाव जी इज सेम बट स्टिल नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर हाउ लाइक दिस आर्टिकल इट इज देयर इन टू थाउजेंड टू ही इज जस्ट पब्लिश दैट इन टू थाउजेंड टू ईयर Uh, that is a very quite strange miracle was there that i was just uh, quite surprised by seeing that in 2002 year this article was already published and in the whole this material world everyone with this uh, door of hell has been opened for all the thing and one devotee has just shown me because i am not at all seeing any internet and all some devotee has shown me are what is this what he has written this baldav ji maharaj and krishna are all the same and when krishna has gone when that in that kind of virha that baldav ji maharaj when came in braj that that all the gopikas of krishna he is just taking to then he is done ras with those gopis of the group of krishna if his guru dev was there definitely wanna uh, destroy him like anything this foolish number 1 why what kind of siddhant he has just published if his guru dev was there alive then definitely he gonna beat him with chappal his guru dev means that who has already written that if his, his guru dev was also same and if his guru dev was also there then definitely want to give him chappal on his face definitely he will get some chutney out of that so this kind of publication he has done and all the all the material people are just uh, 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 hearing this and uh, reading this it is not at all possible baldav ji maharaj is having sakhara is predominant he has got it but sallya has also inside his heart that for krishna baldav ji maharaj has definitely not at all that kama should will get definitely be, not be produced vatsalya can be produced shridhar paswai pad vishnu everyone he had just uh, given this and this sahajya guru he is foolish number 1 he is just publishing this foolish article oh no you should you write like this you write like this like he is speaking are how you can write like this you see in godiam at what is actually happening oh, oh god so this actually is happening baldav ji maharaj is not at all is with krishna gopika's group of krishna gopika not at all doing ras at all that kind of vatsalya is there for krishna that he is my small boy small brother that uh, definitely these gopikas are of his group so he will be doing rasila with that group it is written already in the article that uh, baldav ji maharaj has a separate group it was already written in bhagavatam also i'll just open bhagavatam i'll show you i'll show you the thing that there is actually different group for baldav ji maharaj Uh, maharaj there is not at all there is separate group for krishna and separate group for krishna is there it already written so just be be sure about this point that what i am actually speaking in front of you that that's, that's why it is coming in between when that prasang will come or not i don't know and whether i will remember this or not i can't remember so that's why i have just spoken in front of you this point so you see that in dasya ras the chitrak patrak ratak everyone is there all people are there this in dasya ras and vatsalya ras baldav ji maharaj he is still his big brother but still is having that friendship with krishna all the time he is enjoying with him playing with krishna that's why from baldev till baldav ji maharaj 
श्रीधाम सुधाम मधुमंगल ऑल आर एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट वात्सल्य रस इन साइड देम सॉरी साख्य रस एंड इन वात्सल्य रस लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर कम नंद बाबा यशोदामा प्रभावती नंद महाराज इज ऑलरेडी देयर अधिनंद उपानंद ऑल एक्चुअली विल कम इन वात्सल्य ऑल आर एक्चुअली चाचा चाची एवरी वन इज देयर दे कैन हैव दैट वात्सल्य काका काकी ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड फादर एवरी वन इज देयर दे आर हैविंग वात्सल्य टू वर्ड्स कृष्णा डेफिनेटली दे हैव वात्सल्य ऑल दोज ओल्ड पीपल दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट लविंग कृष्णा दैट ग्रैंड मदर ऑफ कृष्णा एंड ग्रैंड फादर ऑफ कृष्णा ऑल एक्चुअली आर देयर हैविंग दैट वात्सल्य इन साइड दैम एंड आफ्टर दैट मधुर रस देयर इज एक्चुअली कैटेगरी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मधुर रस दैट द्वारका वासीज दैट हु दोज आर लिविंग इन द्वारका दैट सत्य भामा रुकमणी ऑल दे आर एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट मधुर रस बट देर इज एक्चुअली सम सेपरेशन इन दैट सेपरेट थिंग्स दैट इज डिफरेंट इट जस्ट लुक्स लाइक वन बट इट इज डिफरेंट बट इट इज टोटली डिफरेंट आई एल जस्ट फ्रॉम बृहद भागवत अमृत जस्ट बाई रीडिंग दैट बृहद भागवत अमृत At the time when the time that Madhuras of Dwarka, that Krishna, all those Mahishis, that with Mahishis when Krishna, that kind of Madhuras, that speciality of Krishna is having with them, and that what Vrindavan in Vrindavan what Krishna has having the Lalita Vishakha and uh, Radha Rani, it just looks like the same, but it is not at all same. It is different. This is not. तो टोटली डिफरेंट दैट इज नॉट वन नेस बिल्कुल टोटली डिफरेंट टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच इफ यू विल एक्चुअली जस्ट डूइंग सम डिस्कशन दैन इन बृहद भागवत अमृत ऑल्सो देर इज वन प्रसंग केम एंड आई हैव जस्ट वेरी शॉर्ट डिस्कशन आई हैव डन एंड इन दिस आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड दैट दिस दिस द्वारका महिषीज आर देयर इन साइड देयर हार्ट देर इज एक्चुअली सर्टर्निटी इज देयर इन साइड देयर दैट निश्चय भाव दैट डेफिनेटली Actually, he is our husband. Oh, actually, he is our husband. Krishna is our husband. So this kind of husband bhav they are actually serving Krishna. But the Gopikas inside their heart, this kind of bhav is not at all there. In Gopikas, Jeev Goswami Pad actually already have just given this discussion in front of us that parikya bhav. That lot of I don't want to speak this prasang. If I'll just speak, definitely I will be speaking it tomorrow. That this parikya bhav. That this parikya bhav. Then in Vrindavan it is definitely possible in Vrindavan only, and apart from that no nowhere it is possible this parikya bhav and this parikya bhav and this parikya bhav that topmost ras we can just get the sweetness of that ras it is just go on increasing why because maybe it is getting uh, sometimes it, this is uncertainty of the rasa. That Radha Rani actually, that Krishna, when they will get the togetherness with the Krishna, this kind of a sentiency is there. That there is one tension inside our heart. This sweet tension is all the time inside the mind. That this kind of uh, Anand is topmost in bhajan. So this sweet madness, those who are not realizing this, they cannot uh, realize that point. Those who don't have that kind of feeling. So this actually in Dwarka. those they are actually serving bhagwan with the mood of husband they are actually they are do all those mahishis they are having that uh, adhikar on krishna so that's why they are having that is no that much speciality but radha rani lalita vishakha all they are actually they are actually also serving bhagwan they are also serving bhagwan they are actually having that swakiya bhav but that but it's parikya why it's swakiya बट राधा रानी इज एक्चुअली अंतरंगा शक्ति और भगवान ललिता विशा का ऑल और अंतरंगा शक्ति इन ब्रह्म समिता इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर दिस श्लोक एक्चुअली इट इज रिटर्न दैट इज टॉप मोस्ट ऑल द डिस्कशन इज देयर इफ यू जस्ट गोइंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस दैट इज नॉट ए कॉल परिकिया इट इज स्वकिया बट स्टिल दैट राधा रानी इज अंतरंग शक्ति ऑफ भगवान बट स्टिल दैट इज द एक्चुअल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ योग माया दैट स्टिल इट इज स्वकिया इट इज ऑल्स परिकिया इज ऑल्सो देयर हैविंग परमानेंट फीलिंग इज ऑल्सो देयर अमंग ब्रज गोपिकास इन ब्रज गोपिकास दैट परिकिया भाव दैट काइंड ऑफ डायरेक्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग इम्प्रेशन इज देयर दिस कैनॉट गेट रिमूव फ्रॉम इन देयर हार्ट वाई बिकॉज इफ परिकिया भाव विल गॉट दैन काइंड ऑफ अनंद विल नॉट गेट इन दैट रस सो दैट्स वाई राधा रानी विशाखा ललिता ऑल एक्चुअली आर एक्चुअली देयर इन परिकिया रस इन ओनली इन वृंदावन गोलिंग गोलोक वृंदावन ललिता विशाखा राधा रानी आर देयर एंड 
they are actually they don't have any husband they cannot have any husband no because that is a, a nitya jagat they are actually no place for jatila kutila also the, the jatila kutila cannot uh, be staying in golok at all and kans jatila kutila and ayan gosh they cannot have they don't have any place in golok but still that conception is there jat katila kutila this kind of conception that bhavna is there or a jatila will come are what to do this kind of bhavna is there this permanent bhavna is there are kans are there is no kans but the bhavna of kans is there that if i will just be speaking to kans i will just be go and speak to kans this kind of bhavna this kind of feeling is there so this kind of feeling what is there when in in nitya vrindavan golok dham when it is just coming from that nitya vrindavan golok dham just by the just by the wish of bhagwan that lalla pari leela parikar dham naam actually bhagwan is coming uh, onto this material earth then that externally radharani also have a husband in this material life and halalita also have external husband in this material life and roop manjari nayan manjari also have this kind of husband some kind of some kind of gopis they are actually not getting married this can also be done but this radharani the actual husband of radharani he who is the actual husband of radharani only krishna is there but here actually it is just artificial it is already written in chaitanya charitamrit that it is just one kind of planning this is just ma yoga maya have just done all the arrangements like this already planned like that yoga maya have just uh, uh, planned and arranged all the things like this so that sweetness of leela can more increase that husband is there and uh, the village is also there hmm? and the all of his uh, uh, grandmother father everyone is there everyone is there in the village in his house like this all actually all against conditions are there externally totally against so so much actually more against conditions will be there that yoga maya more interest will be there how to meet krishna that is one kind of adventure that how definitely i have to meet krishna in any how whether i'll die or whatever will do this kind of actually cleverness smartness of radharani nobody can actually feel that so this actually is all sweetness so much sweet is this that there is actually no language to just speak like that and now actually i'll just be uh, just uh, giving a uh, rest up till that and yeah tomorrow i will just be telling you the actual bhav of prabhupad under the guidance of prabhupad all the actually we are discussing under the guidance of prabhupad only and what actually prabhupad actually during the time of vrindavan dham parikrama under the at the bank of radha kund at the bank of radha kund prabhupad actually just near the radha kund Uh, he is just sitting there and just speaking hari katha about the shri upadesh amrit he has just given the commentary on that under the, the under the guidance of Pra- prabhupad only we just need to understand this and we don't need to go anywhere else what prabhupad has told that only is the topmost and final thing for us today actually i'll be just giving a rest up till this some point pathamam namna savanam antah karana suddhi artham apeksham शुद्धे चातकने रूपसवन तदुदयोग्यता सम्मग उदिते चूपे गुणान स्फुण संपदेत संपन्ने गुणना स्फुरणे परक वैशिष्टन तैशिष्ठा संपद्यते ततस्तेषु नाम रूपगुण परकु सम्मस्फुरीषु लीला स्फुण सुषुवती अभिप्रेत साधन क्रम विलिखिता वाचकल्पदूर्वशिक वासी पथिता पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो